Today I'm going to show you how to do the crisscross ribbon barrette. Start by placing your barrette in the holder on my ribbon barrette maker. Next, pick one strand of ribbon for your background. When you find your color, fold it in half and then place it around the back of your barrette. Tie a single knot and as you pull it tighter, bring your ribbon up around the top of your barrette and pull it tight. You should see the first strand across the top. Tie another knot just to help keep it in place. Pull it tight and then place one ribbon and one L and the other ribbon and one R. If it starts to slide down, that's okay. You can always just push it back towards the top. Start with one L by picking it up and weaving it through the center of your barrette. Make sure your ribbon's straight before you place it in 2R. Now pick up 1R, weave it through the center of your barrette, but this time, instead of placing it in the holder, you're going to weave it back towards the right. Place it back through the center, pull it tight, and place it in 3R. Now pick up 2R, and we're going to do the same thing. Weaving to the left by going through the center. Once you pull it through, you're going to weave it back to the right by going through the center again. Place it in 4R. Now you can move your strands to the top and start all over again by picking up 1R, weaving to the left by going through the center, making sure it's flat, and then weaving back to the right by going through the center again. Pick up 2R, weave through the center to go to your left, and then weave back through the center to go back to your right. Always make sure that your ribbon's straight so it doesn't look tangled. Move your ribbon back towards the top and continue to repeat to fill up your ribbon barrette. Weaving through the center. Making sure it's straight. And then back through the center again to go to your right. Picking up the ribbon at the top, weaving through the center, and then back through the center again. Moving your ribbons towards the top, picking up one R, going through the center, and then back through the center again. Picking up 2R, weaving through the center, you can give it a little wiggle if it starts to get tangled, and then weave it back through the center again. Moving your ribbons towards the top, and to create more space, you can push your ribbons towards the top and this should cover up any of the silver barrette. Continue this weaving pattern until your barrette is completely covered by the black ribbon. Once your barrette is covered with your background color, take one ribbon from the left and weave it one time to your right. You can even out the ribbons and then tie a double knot at the end to finish off your barrette. Now you're ready for your accent color. Choose a ribbon, fold it in half, and then cut it. You'll only need half a ribbon for this part of the pattern. 
Now you're going to tie this ribbon on just like you do in the beginning. Fold it around the back, tie a knot. You can pull the black ribbons through the middle. And then as you're pulling it tighter, fold it around the top so you have one strand. Pull it tight and then tie another knot with your ribbon. Remember to pull your black ribbon through. This will help keep it from getting tangled. Pull it nice and tight. And now you're ready for the crisscross part. Take one ribbon and wrap it around your ribbon barrette. You should be able to wrap it about three times, remembering to end on the left side. Now take the ribbon on the right side and create your crosses by wrapping it right on top of that other ribbon. All the way around. And keep going so you end on the right side. You can adjust the ribbon by letting it go looser or pulling it tighter. And then you can tie a knot at the bottom and this will help hold it in place. Now I like to end mine by tying a bow with the pink, my accent ribbon, cutting those strands shorter, and then leaving my background ribbon just a little bit longer. You can adjust your background ribbon and your X's by moving it up and down. And now you're ready to show off your new fabulous ribbon barrette.